हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ कार्बन कैप्चर एंड स्टोरेज दैट इज सी सी एस पार्ट एटीन डी एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फंडामेंटल projects and career instrumentation and engineering deliverables telecommunication engineering procurement engineering and many others and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is fundamentals of carbon capture and storage ccs part 18d fundamentals of carbon capture and storage that is ccs carbon capture and storage or carbon capture and sequestration is the process or a method of capturing carbon dioxide that is co2 one can see the composition below before it enters into the atmosphere transporting it and storing it that is a carbon sequestration for the centuries or millennia usually the co2 is captured from the large point source such as the chemical plant power plant and biogas or a biomass power plant and then stored in an underground geological formation one can refer to the picture right hand side where carbon capture and storage is shown where co2 capture plant is shown where power production industrial sources gas conditioning is done and through the co2 is transferred to the offshore via pipeline and further it is connected to the subsea installation from there it is injected into injection wells and then it is reaching to the reservoir it passes through the seals where co2 injection into the saline aquifer the aim is to prevent the release of co2 from a heavy industry with the intent of mitigating the effects of the climate change although co2 has been injected into geological formation for several decades for the various purposes which includes enhance of oil recovery the long term storage of a co2 is a relatively new concept moving on to ccs help to prevent global warming as the intergovernmental panel on climate change that is ipcc highlighted that if we are to achieve the ambition of the paris agreement and limit future temperature increases to 1.5 degree celsius that is 2.7 degree fahrenheit we must do more than just increasing efforts to reduce the emission we also need to deploy technologies which used to remove carbon from the atmosphere and ccs is one of these technologies and can therefore plays an important role in tackling global warming issues the ccs involves the capture of a carbon dioxide that is co2 emission from the industrial processes such as steel and cement production or from burning of a fossil fuel in power generation this carbon is then transported from where it was produced via ship or in pipeline and stored in deep underground in geological formation the technology is able to capture 90% of co2 emission that are released by burning of fossil fuel during electricity generation and industrial processes such as steel or cement plant similarly there are other method how to stop the climate change reduce carbon footprint one can refer the picture and we will discuss this in short time ccs involves three major steps capturing co2 at the source compressing it for the transportation and then injecting it into a deep rock formation at a careful selected and a safe site where it is permanently stored and now how to stop the climate change reduce carbon footprint go green with a travel while traveling make sure that you will have a public transport look what you eat so one should see what is our eating habits monitor your water wastages go big with waste management waste management employment is very critical educate yourself 
and the others so as to understand to reduce the carbon footprint be smart with energy use thanks to coolstories.com for this excellent picture to give the message on the climate change reduce carbon footprint how does ccs actually work there are three steps to understand the ccs process first capturing the carbon dioxide for storage one can refer the picture where carbon capture and storage process is shown the co2 is separated from other gases produced in the industrial processes such as those at the coal and natural gas fired power generation plant or steel or cement factories one can see the picture where the co2 is captured from various sources and co2 is transported and it reaches to the co2 storage second point transport the co2 is then compressed and transported via pipelines and road transport or ship to a site for storage one can refer to the picture transport overview where one can see the co2 capture plant from the land and then onshore transport then to the buffer storage and again it will pass on to the offshore transport where offshore transport it will be to the co2 injection unit and then it will pass on to the geological storage this is how the transportation of the co2 capture is stored into the geological storage area third point storage finally the co2 is injected into rock formation deep underground for permanent storage one can refer to the picture storage overview where first point is the saline formations second point injection into deep amenable coal seams or ecbm third use of co2 in enhanced oil recovery fourth depleted oil and gas reservoir and to understand this topic better we have taken the images thanks to global ccs institute for having this excellent picture to understand the ccs process so far we have seen the fundamentals of the ccs and now we are moving on to the questions related to ccs which may help all of us to understand ccs better first question where are the carbon emission stored in ccs possible storage sites for the carbon emissions which includes saline aquifers or a depleted oil and gas reservoir which is typically need to be 0.62 miles that is 1 km or more than under the ground as an example a storage site for a proposed zero carbon humber project in the uk similarly in the us states there are multiple ral scale carbon sites such as citronel project in alabama the saline reservoir injection site is about 1.8 mile that is 2.9 km deep this is how the carbon emission stored second question what is a carbon capture utilization and storage that is ccus what is the difference between ccus and ccs as well as ccs there is a related concept of the ccus which stands for carbon capture utilization or sometimes this is term as the uses and the storage the idea is that instead of storing carbon it could be reused in industrial processes by converting it into for example plastic concrete or biofuel third question is storing carbon capture as part of ccs is safe or not according to the industry body the global ccs institute that is ccs is a proven technology that has been in a safe operation for over about 45 years it adds to all the components of the ccs are proven technologies that are have been used for the decades on a commercial scale fourth question where is the ccs is being used already according to the global ccs institutes 2019 report at the time 
there were 51 large scale CCS facilities globally. 19 of those were in operation, 4 under construction and the remainder in a various stage of the development. The 24 numbers of these were in Americas, 12 in Europe, 12 in Asia Pacific and 2 in the Middle East area. Last question, where was the first CCS facility built? CCS has been in operation since 1972 in the United States of America where several natural gas plants in Texas have captured and stored more than 200 million tons of CO2 underground. So this is what we have seen fundamentals of the CCS and some of the typical related question to CCS which may help all of us. Thanks for watching our channel eFunda and hope to give you more and more detailed topics on various subjects in our future videos. Keep watching eFunda. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda. And don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you. This will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.